Jioni ya Jumamosi kaka yao Peter na Paul Okoye ambao ni members wa kundi la P Square Jude alikuwa live Instagram akielezea pia upande wake wa story ya kile ambacho kimeendelea katika familia yao na kikubwa zaidi ni zile shutma ambazo eh, mdogo wake Peter Okoye Mr P alizisema kwamba Jude alifungua kampuni ya siri na mke wake na wakawa namuibia pesa kutoka kwa mirabaha ya P Square. Kwa hiyo akamshtaki katika EFCC. Hii ni e, mamlaka ambayo inahusika na masuala ya makosa ya kiuchumi na kifedha huko nchini Nigeria. Msala mkubwa sana na akisema kwamba benki accounts za Jude zikawa zimefungwa. Sasa Jude ye pia upande wake ameelezea ameongea kwa zaidi ya saa moja ambapo alianza kwa kujitambulisha na kusema kwamba kwa sasa usiki kabisa na Peace Square kwa miaka minane na akasema kwamba ye sio mtu wa kuongea lakini imebidi aongee kwa sababu familia yake imehusishwa pia katika kila ambacho Peter alisema alianza kwa kueleza jinsi kundi lilivyoanza na story yao ilivyokuwa ambayo anasema wengi wanaifahamu walitoka katika huko Jos wakiwa hawana kitu na kuhamia Lagos na ndio hivyo Peace Square kwa imezaliwa kutokana na wale umuiga Michael Jackson na akawa na shauri ni bora wa imbe na vitu kama hivyo akaelezea kidogo background story ya P Square na akasema kwamba 2013 mwishoni migogoro ndio ikaanza ilianza muda mrefu anasema kabla ya 2013 lakini 2013 ndio ikajulikana kwenye media kwenye umma muda huo imekwishajulikana ikawa ngumu sana kuweza kuwapatanisha na mambo yaendelee kama ilivyokuwa kawaida anasema kwamba kila P Square akigombana Peter huwa anamleta anamuingiza kwenye story Jude yani ni kama vile chochote kinachotokea wa kulaumiwa amekuwa ni yeye kakao ambaye ni Julio Koe hasa akaelezea issue ya EFCC anasema alianza kuigundua baada ya watu wa karibu walikuwa wanampigia simu anamwambia watu wote ambao aliwahi kufanya nao biashara wanamwambia mbona EFCC wanatupigia simu wanatuliza hivi na hivi nini ambacho kinaendelea hasa akawa anapata sana hizo simu za watu aina hiyo na ndipo sasa wakaja kubaini kwamba kuna petition au lalamiko fulani ambalo Peter amelipeleka EFCC na linahusiana na kampuni ya siri ambayo ameifungua na kwamba alikuwa anahamisha pesa kwenda kwa kwake kwenye account hiyo ya siri. Sasa anasema katika kuojiwa hapo na hawa EFCC akawaeleza hizo pesa zilikuwa nini. Maana alikuwa anamuuliza hizi pesa ni za nani, zimetoka wapi, maswali mengi. Sasa akawaeleza kwamba hizi ni pesa za royalties ama mirabaha ambapo kila robo ya mwaka every quarter uh, walikubaliana tangu waanzishe P Square kama kampuni kilichokuwa kinapatikana wanagawana wote. Sasa ilivyo ni kwamba kuna zile zilizokuwa zinakuja kwa Peter, zingine zinaenda kwa Paul, zingine zinaenda kwa Jude. Wanazikusanya kwa pamoja na kila mmoja anapewa anagawana kwa anamgawanyishia mwenzake sababu ilivyokuwa share yao ni kwamba asilimia 40 kaka yao wanachukua alafu wale wadogo wanagawana asimia 30 30 kwa sababu wote kampuni ni ya kwao kila mmoja ana nafasi sawa kwa hiyo ndio akawa anawaeleza kwamba chochote ambacho Peter alikuwa kipata kama royalties anakigawa kwa wenzie vile vile na po hivyo hivyo na Jude hivyo hivyo mwaka 2016 walipokuwa na mgogoro Peter akaacha kushare hizo royalties zinazokuja upande wake kwa wengine po akamwambia kaka yake kwamba Peter hashei kwa hiyo hata wewe usishare pia kaa nazo kwa hiyo basi kila baada ya hapo kuanzia 2016 kila mmoja akawa na kana chochote kanachokiingiza hamgawi hawagawi wenzie sababu kila Peter aliacha kufanya hivyo. Sasa anasema kwa miaka minne au mitano imekuwa hivyo. Kila mmoja anabaki na cha kwake. Sasa walipokuja kutaka kurudisha kundi lao of course walirudisha November 2021 akasema basi ni vyema arudishe ule utaratibu urejee kama kawaida lakini wao kakataa kwa hiyo anakasema kwamba kuanzia mpaka hapo ni kwamba po anachukua zake, Peter anachukua za kwake. Sasa hizo ndizo ambazo yeye akawa anazielezea. Hizi ndio zile ambazo zipo kwenye account yake sasa zinazoingia zilizoleta shida ambazo Peter akaenda kumshtaki kwamba hizi pesa anamuibia wakati ni royalties ambazo ni haki yake yeye kama moja kati ya wanzilishi wa kampuni akakumbushia kwamba kipindi hicho kundi linaanza walimuomba wa meneja wao kwa sababu ule mwingine waliokuwa naye ni kama kuna kitu kilitokea 
lakini wakataka wa muajiri akakataa akasema ame sacrifice mambo yake hawezi kuajiriwa tu kwa hiyo ilibidi waanzishe pamoja hiyo kampuni kwa yeye ni sehemu ya waanzilishi wa kampuni hiyo wenye haki sawa na EFCC akaonesha ema huyu ambao ni hati ya makubaliano kwamba tumekubaliana hivi na hivi na vile vile zile nyaraka za usajili zinaonyesha kabisa kabisa kwamba haki zikoje kwamba asilimia 40 ni yake Jude asilimia 30 ya Po 30 nyingine ya Peter na mkataba unaonesha hivyo kwa hiyo kila mmoja alikuwa na haki sawa ya mapato na chochote ambacho kilikuwa kinaingia kinaingizwa na kundi hilo kwa maana ya hizo royalties mambo ya shows na endorsements na vitu kama hivyo bila shaka wakaanza kumuuliza maswali ambayo anasema alikuwa na mkera sana kwamba hiyo nyumba ikoi uliojenga hiyo mansion hello umetoa wapi akawaambia ni hela ambazo amekuwa akizipata kutoka kwenye royalties akawaambia waangalie account za wengine pia kwa nini wanamwangalia yeye tu kati hizo pesa ambazo alikuwa anagawana zilikuwa zinaingia kwenye account yake ndizo hizo hizo pia zilikuwa zinaingia kwa wenzie sasa akasema kwamba imagine amejitolea maisha yake yote kuwa na P square kama manager wao aliamua kuacha vitu vyote lakini wakataka wamtoe kwa hiyo sio kitu ambacho kingeweza kutokea kiraisi lakini 2016 baada ya watu kupiga kelele akasema sawa akaamua kusema mimi naondoka fanyeni mnavyojua wenyewe sawa so, akasema kwamba baada ya hapo ameweza kuishi bila pisku ya miaka minane akifanya biashara zake kuna muda paka akauza nyumba ili amalizie biashara yake kwa amesimama hapo kwa pesa zake mwenyewe na bila shaka royalties ambayo ilikuwa inaingia kama ambavyo makubaliano walikuwa yanasema kitu kingine kilichomkera ni kwamba ilibidi aeleze kila transaction ambayo inaonekana kwenye account yake. Anasema hiki ni kitu ambacho kilimtesa kwa sababu miaka karibu 20 iliyopita transaction anazikumbuka vipi. Lakini anasema alikumbuka. Kwa mfano anasema kuna pesa ambayo ni dola laki moja eh, pita lilalamika wakati aliwapa wote hiyo ambapo yeye pita aliamua kununua Range Rover kumpa zawadi mke wake Laura wakati wanafanya engagement. Lakini zile pesa za po yeye po aliziweka kwenye benki. Akasema tena pia Eh, kuna dola laki mbili ambazo alimpa akanunua Bentley lakini po akasema lakini nusu weka kwenye account yangu nusu nitumie ama life hamsini nitumie niende Marekani ilikuwa nafanya mambo fulani sasa anamuuliza anashangaa kwamba leo pita anauliza kwamba hiyo po hela hiyo alipata wapi wakati yeye ya kwake hana na ali, anajua alichokifanyia kwamba yeye ndo amkumbushe kwamba alinunua magari au vipi hicho ndicho ambacho Jude ameeleza kuhusiana na kampuni ya siri ambayo anashutumiwa nayo ya Northside Music Entertainment anasema kampuni hii inakuwaje haijui leo hii 2024 wakati ni kampuni ambayo miaka mingi iliyopita ndio iliyomsainisha Cynthia Morgan kuhusu mke wake anasema anwani ambayo anasema ilikuwa inaelekeza kwa mke wake ni anwani hiyo hiyo ya Squareville ambapo wote wanaishi kwenye compound moja pale pale wanapoishi wote ndio anwani hapo hapo sasa anaeleza kwamba Peter anachokiongea anataka kuonyesha kwamba chochote ambacho Jude anacho ni cha kitapeli na anasema alimuingiza mke wake kama mkurugenzi wa kampuni kwa sababu inahitaji directors wawili kufungua kampuni lakini mke wake hana chochote anachofanya zaidi tu yeye kuwa kama pale ni co-director kwa sababu hana access na account zao hafanyi chochote sio signatory na mambo kama hayo na akasema kwamba alimweka mke wake kwa sababu kama ingekuwa vinginevyo basi lazima Jude angemuhusisha vile mke wake Lola sasa uh, Jude akasema kwamba anatoa naira milioni moja kama zawadi kwa yote ambaye atapata tweet ama post yoyote yake Jude ambayo inamchafua inamsema vibaya mke wake Peter ambaye ni Lola. Kingine ndio akaongeza akasema ndio maana anasema Peter anahitaji maombi, anahitaji msaada kwa sababu anasema yeye hajihusishi kabisa na Peace Square tangu miaka minane iliyopita. Anataka nini leo kwamba kila kitu kikitokea kibaya anayesemwa ni Jude. Sasa anasema 2021 ile kutaka kurudi sasa kama P Square wakampigia simu manager manager akasema hapana inabidi tukae tuongee kwanza ili tuweze kumaliza yaliyotokea wiki nzima hawajamtafuta ikabidi awapigie simu kuwauliza vipi tukae lakini ndio hivyo chenga lakini Peter anasema let's bygone be bygone kwamba yani kama hakutaka hayo mazungumzo tena sasa anasema ikafika stage hiki kipindi 2021 kundi limerejea aka 
nataka afungue account ya P Square tofauti ile ya zamani kwa sababu ilikuwa itumiki akiwa benki wanampigia simu po njoo akasema niko oh, benki nafungua account anamwambia njoo basi ikabidi amkabidhi mtu kwamba utaniletea nimalizie nyumbani vyote vikikamilika alipoenda nyumbani kwa po Peter akasema kwamba walikuwa wamezungumza na akasema kwamba hawamhitaji tena Jude kama eh, meneja wao na hiyo ni condition ambayo Peter kampa Po akasema kwamba kwa wale ambao mmekuwa mkisema kwamba kile ambacho Peter huwa anasema kwamba Po amekuwa upande wa Jude akasema hiyo ni kitu ambacho si kweli kwa sababu hiki kipindi Po alikuwa upande wa Peter wakamtimua hiyo December 2021 pia kaeleza kwamba video za Po kama Rudboy amekuwa akiziedit karibu zote na hakutaka alipo chochote. Wiki moja baadaye sasa wakati huo kundi limerudi walienda Abuja. Sasa kuna mdo walikuwa wamekaa kwenye hoteli Po na washikaji wengine pita akaja kumuomba ushauri kaka yake sasa Jude kwamba Maidi yule msanii ambaye alikuwa karibu na P Square kwamba wanataka wamwalike kwenye show yao ya kurejea comeback yao. Jude akamwambia amewaomba radhi, amewaomba msamaha kwa ile kwa, kwa yale aliyosema. Akasema sawa kama wewe amekuomba radhi, ameongea na Po na vipi? Anasema hapo Peter aka mind yani aka turn up. Sema maneno makali sana pale kwamba wewe zikatukuhitaji kwanza sui ni nini? Basi yeye anasema nikashangaa lakini suli niomba ushauri. Mimi nilikuwa nadeleza tu eh, nacho kiwaza. Sasa hayo yote ametokea wapi? Anasema akanyanyuka akaenda katika hoteli, akalala na asubuhi yake akasema kwa kweli hapa haiwezekani tena. Siwezi tena kufanya kazi na hawa watu. Miaka miwili na nusu imepita hapo ndo ikaja issue hii AFCC. Kwa hiyo hakuwa anajihusisha nao tena kuanzia kipindi hicho tena kundi liporudi wakataka kumshirikisha awe meneja wao tena. Anasema kwamba watu wengi sana wamejaribu kuongea nao lakini pita hakuna anayemsikiliza. Na watu hawa wanapokwenda kuzungumza na Peter, kuzungumza na Paul, kuzungumza na Jude, wakitoa uh, conclusion yoyote ambayo haiko kumpendelea Peter basi hataki tena kusikia story zao. Sasa ametoa story nyingine uh, siku moja yuko kwa Paul ambapo alikuwa akasikia wanabishana sana na Peter. Akaenda yani mpaka walitaka kukwidana sasa alipokuja kugundua sababu ya wao kubishana ni kwamba e, waliambiana kwamba Po nadhani alimshauri Peter kwamba tuchangie hiki ni kitu ambacho nadhani Po alikisema pia kwenye interview kila mmoja achangie nyimbo tano kwenye album afanye hivyo vyote kama ni video kama ni producer kuandika kila kitu alafu waje wakutanishe hizo nyimbo pamoja Peter anaweza kwenda kwa Paul katika zile nyimbo zake akaingiza vizi zake pale na Paul afanye hivyo kwa Peter. Hii ni idea ambayo Peter alikataa na ndio iliyosababisha mambo yote hayo. Kwa walibishana sana, kushautiana sana, karibu wazichape kabisa. Ila sasa amekuja kusema kilichomuuma zaidi anasema Disemba Peter alienda kwenye compound yake sababu bado I think wanakaa pamoja Square Vile. Akamkuta mtoto wa Jude anacheza pale akaongea naye Uncle Papa is here naona eh sababu ni mtoto wa kaka yake akamuomba Peter akamuomba Jude kifaa fulani uh, bila shaka masuala ya nyumbani nyumbani pale Jude akamwagiza mtu fulani ampe aende uh, sasa anashangaa miezi miwili baadaye anaitwa na EFCC sasa hapa namno kuu anasema huyu jamaa alikuja nyumbani kwangu kucheza na mwanangu akijua wazi kuwa amewasilisha petition dhidi yangu sikuweza kuelewa kidogo nichanganyikiwe Ulikuwa unacheza na mwanangu miezi miwili iliyopita na kuangalia petition yako na tarehe ilikuwa ni wazi kuwa ulikuwa tayari umewasilisha petition dhidi yangu na ukaja na kuonesha sura ukatabasamu na mimi ukacheza na mwanangu kaazima kifaa toka kwangu na ukaondoka siwezi kuitoa hiyo akilini mwangu ni ngumu ni ngumu sana sio kwamba staki nimejaribu sana kuona kama naweza kusawa hicho hakiondoki kabisa kishoni mwangu kwa hiyo hiki kitu kimemuuma sana kwamba haiwezekani uje hapa Unacheza na mwanangu tunacheka pamoja kumbe umeniandalia msala huko. Mwishoni anaeleza uh, kusiana na Peter ile story ya EFCC alishare na mtu ambaye ni blogger nadhani akamlikishia ila akamwambia kwamba waende pamoja na yeye blogger aji uh, ficha ficha mpige picha 
uh, Jude pamoja na mke wake wakati wanatoka kujua UFCC Alpha Isambazi. Hii kitu anasema ilimuuma sana kwa ni kama Peter sasa alikuwa na dhamiria kabisa kumchoresha kaka yake. Kingine akasema kwa matusi yote ya mashabiki wa Peace Square anayeona na hana namna na anasema wana haki ya kusema hivyo yamewaruhusu wa mshauri watume DM wamewafanya chochote wampa idea yoyote kwa sababu anasema yeye ameshindwa wamefanya kila kinachowezekana lakini hakuna kilichowezekana na kwamba wasimwambie kwamba yeye ni kaka yao kwa hiyo anatakiwa awakalishe chini wazungumze kuna kaka zao wakubwa zaidi yeye ni mdogo pia kuna maanti kuna elders wengi tu wamezungumza nao wameshindwa kwa hiyo yeye ataweza vipi na hapa mwishoni akasema simliniambia niondoke niliondoka niacheni niwe na amani basi ndio hayo kama unataka kumsikiliza mwenyewe Jude the whole live here hapa you guys know me as Jude and Jesus of the Peace Square even if uh, I have not had anything to do with Peace Square for the past 8 years but it's all good my name is Jude Koi Jude and Jesus and uh, due to what has been going on for I think for the past weeks um normally for me be myself uh, now how I approach stuff like this I normally sit it out uh but I have to come and uh, make this live video because it wasn't about me anymore. Uh my family was involved in the whole thing and uh I have to come and tell you guys what it's uh, uh it's all about. Okay, first of all, let me start from uh the uh, the beginning of uh, Peace Square. I think most of you already know the story and how smooth criminal started for MNPP then the Namibia MP square how Peter was more of a uh, smooth criminal dancing and Paul was more of uh, singing after he broke out from dancing with the smooth criminal said follow me around and uh, started you know singing the first song that Paul ever wrote in his life was say your love that was when I knew that there's something there and When I went to the University of Jos I was like okay this is you know dancing Michael Jackson imitating Michael Jackson in the secondary school uh, time period is fine and okay but now that you're in university you cannot come to the university and still be you know doing such because people are expecting that you should be upgraded by them why don't you guys you know fuse yourself together and da- possibly dance to your own music instead of you in the team Michael Jackson Paul bring your song fuse it together you guys can form a team and that was how Peace Square came about to be so um long story short we we started the hustle from Jos uh, together then we now came to Jos uh, came to Lagos and uh everything is history how I uh, we sacrificed everything to make the team work how we came from just having nothing to lagos and uh you know working together as a team till this moment of uh crisis here and there every now and then we started in 2013 ending of 2013 so is crazy because it's kind of emotional but it's something that needs to be said and it has to be said just to get the record straight i uh please cuz i have any issues from 2013 ending to early of 2014 i tried as much as possible to because it has been going on since but from 2013 2014 was when it went out to the public when it became public knowledge and by then uh it was so difficult then to curtail because once something leaks seeps out to the public it becomes a public uh, uh, a thing that you cannot be able to take back so from 2014 peace had issues 2015 2016 2017 then they now had a break of almost five years and came back in 2020 ending of 2021 and now again they are having issues again 
why I'm here is because I was one way or the other involved in the Peace Square saga once again, even though I have never had anything to do with Peace Square for the past eight years. Since 2016 to date, I've not been Peace Square's manager, I've not been Peace Square's director, I've not been Peace Square's anything. I have just been on my own, doing my own real estate business, focusing on my own hustle. And one way or the other, anytime there has to be any crisis affecting Peace Square, my name will one way or the other find itself in the midst. I don't know how it happens, but Peter seems to see me still have a way of bringing me inside the problem. So uh, let's start with um, the EFCC case. In uh, February, I think February ending, I started getting calls from people that have done businesses with, people that I have made payments to, and people that have made payments to me. Every transaction I've ever had, uh, tell me that EFC invited them and uh, they were asked to come and, you know, account for whatever business they had with me. And most especially, all of them were all more on the Doom account. So I was believing that, okay, this problem has to do with the new government that is in place and that they are chasing Binance, they are chasing everybody that is making, you know, the FX rise and whatever. I was like, oh, they'll just look at it and just move past. Until somebody that um, paid Naira into the account called me and told me, yeah, they asked him to come and explain for what he did, uh, what the 500,000 Naira he paid in my account in 2015 was for. Then I was like, okay, this is not about effects of Binance anymore, something fishy is going on. So it's kept on coming like that. Everybody I've ever done businesses were calling me different people. And then in uh, 20, uh, in uh, 22nd, I think 22nd of uh, April, two days to my birthday, I was invited to come to the UACC. I went there with Paul. I didn't know that Paul was even invited. He showed me that, oh, he was even invited the same day. I said, okay, let's go to the same day. Let's go to the same day. We now went there with our lawyer, we went there, they now opened the file and they were asking me, okay, this money was found in your account. I said, yes. This money belongs to Peace Square. I said, yes. So what is it doing in your account? I was like, ah, ah. Why are you asking me what Peace Square's money is doing in my account? It is my own share of Peace Square. They were like, no, that there's a petition against me. I said, okay, let me go to, let me see what the petition was about. They didn't really give me the petition. That's when I knew that. It was Peter that wrote the petition against me since December ending of uh, 2023. The, the investigation started in 2024, January. And the petition was saying that I opened a secret company and I was siphoning Peace Square's money to my personal account. I was like, no. It's, this is royalties. Paul has the same publishing royalty coming to him every quarter. Peter has the same royalties coming to him every quarter. Jude has royalties also coming to him every quarter. We have an agreement within the three of us that anything that has to do with Peace Square proceeds goes three ways to the three of us. Peter gets his own, he shares with us. Paul gets his own, he shares with us. I get my own, I shared with two of them. That's how it has been going. Until 2017, or, or rather, yeah, 2017, 2016, when Peace Square had issues with fighting in the, in the Fesus Kiamos office and all that, there was a split of Peace Square. Peter stopped sharing. Paul came and gave me money. I was like, yo, I think you can keep your money because Peter has stopped sharing. So I think what is going to happen now is that everybody should start keeping what they get. Because Peter is incommunicado now, nobody can reach him, so I think that's the best thing. The people were like, yeah, let's everybody keep what they get. And that's how it has been for over four and a half to five years, or thereabout, till 2021 November when they came back together. And I did the noble thing, which was I returned the catalog back to the fold so that the three of us can be sharing it equally as usual which was what was expected of me to do. But surprisingly, they refused to return their own. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are still keeping the royalty publishing that they receive quarterly. Peter is still keeping his own. 
to himself. Paul is still keeping his own to himself. The one I was keeping to myself, I have returned to the fold. The three of us are sharing since 2022, early 2022, something like that. That was my story to the EFCC. And they said, okay, but the two of them are P square. That Peter said that I was uh, I was uh, an unemployed graduate from Joss that didn't have any job and they had issue when they had issues with their former manager, may so rest in peace, uh, bio uh, that that they now invited me to come and manage Peace Square for them so I can be on salary. I told him no, but I was one that brought them to Lagos. That I was one that even made the group be square. They said, No, that was what Peter told them. I said, Okay, that means when I'm coming tomorrow, I'm going to bring my CACs, I'm going to bring my MOUs, I'm going to bring every document that I had to prove that I am not just a bystander, I am part and parcel of be square. They said, Okay, the, the, what, I should not blame them that the only be square they know is just Peter and Paul and Steve. I said, Yeah, I know, I understand. The next day, be my birthday, I tried to excuse them that, Okay, can I be allowed not to be? there on my birthday so that I can have time to attend to my guests and everything. They say, no, 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 that's okay. I should just come that day that they're going to release me uh, by 12, 1 o'clock so I can go and attend to my guests. I said, no problem. So the next day I came. Now I came with just Paul. I didn't come with my, my main lawyer. And um, I gave them all the documents. The guy looked at it and was like, wow, did Peter sign this? I said, look at his signature. This is the CAC that will open the company with both Square Records and Northside Entertainment. They were like, you are even more than P Square. I was like, I don't understand what you mean. They said, look, you are you are entitled to 40% shares. Why the two of them are entitled to 30%, 30%? I said, well, I'm not supposed to say it with my mouth, you can see. Then they said, okay, uh, if that is the case, so I should come and prove I should prove to them that we have an MOU that we're supposed to be sharing it equally. I said, if the CSC is not enough, okay, we have an MOU, this is the MOU. The MOU clearly stated that the Peace Square comprises of three entities, Peter, Paul, Jude. Every process of the Peace Square goes three ways to Peter, Paul, Jude. Nobody has the right to take every Peace Square song, catalog, uh, uh, video, likeness, image, outside the benefit of Peace Square. So, in a nutshell, I was able to establish that I am not a bystander, that I was P-Square, that I played my role in the P-Square uh, situation. Long story short, they started asking me some questions that I felt very irritated about, even though I did not understand them, but now I, I do understand. They were asking me, okay, I, I, built, uh, uh, I built a mansion in Ikoi. I said yes. Where did I get the money from? Uh uh. Now it became, I've already explained to you what the money you said you pet, it was petitioned against me in the account, what it was for. That this is my own uh, money I was keeping from the royalty. Go and check Peter's own, you see his own in his account. Go and check Paul's own, you see his own in his account. Peter cannot come and say, Jude is stealing our money from us. You come and just look at the account and see Peace Quest money and say, ah, Peter said uh, he's stealing his money. Look at the money here. I said, no. Check Peter's account, you see his own share there. Check Paul's account, you see his own there. Why are you just flashing the light on my own alone? So, uh, I told them that, now you're asking me, I built a mansion, where did I get the money from? This one, where did I get the money from? I was like, yo, Peace Square ended in 2017. I, 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 have, de I have devoted my life from the day I, even before I went to the university, I devoted my life in Peace Square. There is nothing else I do aside Peace Square. I put my life on hold just to make sure that Peace Square succeeds. And all of a sudden, I, I am wanted out of Peace Square. I didn't have a problem. I saw what you guys are saying. Ah, dude, is it by force? Leave Peace Square alone. Leave Peace Square alone. I understand that the fans are more interested in what their favorites want, not what the truth is or what is the right thing to do. And by 2016, I decided to say, okay, no problem. If this is what they wanted, I needed to step down. Uh, let me step down. Let me step away. I stepped away. Peace Square ended. I had another thing to do. I sold my house in America. I sold my house here. I put all my sources that I had together 
to go and build that. I even borrowed money from a few uh, colleagues and friends to get that uh, 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 project finished. So why are you asking me where? So they now said, okay, since I'm not cooperating, no problem, I should go and get it short it. I'm going to be detained and here and there and there. Okay. It happened that I was I was I was taken to the booking section. They, they uh, removed my wristwatch. They bagged my wristwatch, my shoes, and everything. Took off my, you know, jewelry and my wallet and everything. And I was about to be sent in when somebody else now came and said, "Okay, that I should wait a bit." Then after like 30 minutes, then I came back and said, "Okay, that the boss wants me to come and uh, to come out and come back tomorrow morning." That's how I, I left. I think I left around uh, midnight, close to midnight of that same birthday. Before I got home, all my guests have finished eating my food, my drinks, without me being present, and they've gone. But I think the ones that came and left understood what was going on, but they were close friends, so I didn't have anything to bother. So it was still kept you know, hush hush that period. So that was how I was detained, so to speak, the detaining. I spent the whole day from nine o'clock in the morning till that midnight of that same day of my birthday. So I literally spent my birthday in the EFCC custody or detention or whatever you want to call it. So, and I came back, I was like, okay, seriously, what is the meaning of this? Somebody is uh, sending a petition against me that I siphoned money. It's like saying, you are accusing me of having a bag of rice that belongs to three of us, but you have a dozen bag of rice that belongs to three of us in your possession. How are you accusing me of the one that I have? Okay, if that's your case, let's go and see how it's going to end. The EFCC people wanted to keep it hush hush until it came out in the public domain that, oh, Peace Square are now in the EFCC, they are having tussles and here and there. I had nothing to do with Peace Queer. I just had a petition against me about royalties. Then all of a sudden, the royalty thing now shifted when this, when he found out that all these allegations are not holding anything because the, what he told them that me being a bystander is not what was established. It was established that I was part and parcel of Peace Square on papers and everything. So he now went now back to 29, uh, 2008, 2009, when we came to Lagos, the first account we ever opened for me to explain every transaction that's ever happened in our account for over almost 19, 20 years. I can't even remember the money I spent last week. And someone is asking me to account for money spent 19 years ago, what it was for. Every money that has my name on it in the account must be explained. I was like, okay, no problem. Let me get it. Let me see what I can be able to do with that. I was able to, by his grace, have, if not all of them, most of the accounts that he was pointing at. Most especially, there's this tree that he was mentioning. I think that was how he was trying to get Paul involved in the whole thing. Saying that uh, me and Paul were sharing monies without giving him his own share. He now pointed out where there was an account where Paul had $100,000 and there is none for him. And that place where Paul had $150,000, there was none for him and one of whatever. Then I was like, okay, let me go and look at it and find out what, because it's been like, that was 2013 and 2014. I said, let me go and check it. That was about 10 years ago. Two, three days later, I came back with my defense and I was like, this hundred thousand dollars he's complaining about was exactly the same day he got engaged to his girlfriend, then girlfriend, now wife. He bought a Range Rover for her, same day, same time. Paul did not buy Range Rover for anybody. He said, Jude, put my own in my own account, and I, I did that. Why are you calling EFCC on me to come and explain what Paul is doing with hundred thousand dollars in, in, in his account when you use your own to buy a Range Rover to engage your wife? Same day. The second one of uh, $150,000 was on the middle of January 2014. You told me you wanted to buy a Bentley. I gave you $200,000. Paul said, I'm not buying a Bentley. Put $150,000 in my account and send me $50,000 to go to America to catch fun with. And now you are asking me to come to EFC to come and explain why Paul had $150,000 in his account and I don't have yours. 
Paul has $250,000 in an account, you had a Bentley. The thing was so annoying, so frustrating that I am now in the I am now the person that has to be explaining what your memorable memorable uh, times periods are supposed to be for you. Am I supposed to be the one to remind you of when you engaged your wife with a Range Rover? That was when Paul had his money. The date is very clear there. Am I supposed to be the one to tell tell you that you bought a Bentley? You bought a Bentley, but did not buy a Bentley. That's why Paul had one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in his account. Now I am now heading the EFC to come and be explaining that that I am giving Paul that amount. Then I will go behind and share it with Paul. Now all those accusations now went. There was one again that he held he held very dear, very little amount, twenty five thousand seven. That's why he got uh, uh, Jason Njoku involved or something. That there's when money got into our account, 25700 and something thousand dollars, that me and Paul within four hours or whatever came and split the money in half. Yeah, it was true. I saw it and I was wondering, why would 25000 something get into our account and me and Paul would share the money into two immediately? Then I was like, okay, let me go and investigate. And I went back and I checked. And lo and behold, there's an email that Peter wrote to Iroko. Uh, telling them that they should split the money into three and send him his own because Peace Square is having issues and he doesn't want the money to be put in our in our general account. Jesse now wrote an email saying, okay, gentlemen, after discussing individually with the three of you, this is how the money is going to be shared. Jude plus Paul, $25,750. Peter, $12,850. Peter's money was sent to him directly. Jude plus Paul's money was now sent to Northside Entertainment account, which he now saw in the account and picked it out and said, this is the evidence that Peter, Jude and Paul are sharing money behind his back. This thing happened in 2016. And EFCC is holding me, asking me, interrogating me on that to explain. What am I trying to say? Everything about this EFCC thing is just mind-boggling and crazy. Now let's go to the secret company. My people, the secret company is none other than Northside Music Entertainment. I signed Cynthia Morgan with Northside Music Entertainment. All Cynthia Morgan videos has Northside Inc. in it. How is it a secret company to Peter all of a sudden in 2024? No, I want to understand. How is Northside Music that has a CAC certificate registration since 2015 how is Northside Music that was registered, according to him, the address of the secret company was my wife's. That's how we got how to get my wife involved. It has to do with my wife's uh, people's or my wife's home address. Please look at the address here. You can see what the address says. It's 178 Lola Holloway. Omole, both my address, both my signature and if his signature says the same thing. Can you see that? Look at it. So, why would it say Umu Keke Ifoma Chidima 178 Lola Holloway Jude Okoye Chidoze 178 Lola Holloway This is the same square view. That's the address of square view where the three of us, Peter, Paul and Jude lives. Or oh, rather, we were living then. That was the address that was used to open the secret company. Peter has to look for a way to make whatever that has to do with my account look fraudulent. I don't understand. CAC, every company registered in CAC is in public domain. This thing has been registered for nine years. Cynthia Morgan was signed in um, October of 2013. Then I wasn't expecting to sign Cynthia Morgan. Like you people already know, the contract was prepared by Cynthia Morgan and her then manager, Joy. They came to my room suddenly begging, begging, just let us do, let us do this. So I did not have any company that I run with. I'm only running with Northside Entertainment, which was P Square and me. I was like, okay, to make it a little formal then, and I used the letterhead of Northside Entertainment to print the first page of that agreement, but whatever 
write up that is about the agreement is talking about Northside Music Inc. This was 2013. We're talking about 11 years ago. What is so secret about Northside Entertainment? Everybody in this entertainment circle knows about Northside Entertainment except Peter. He, finally, he, he all of a sudden was shocked that he discovered a secret company called Northside Entertainment, Northside Music. So, now, my wife got entangled in it because obviously you cannot open a corporate account in Nigeria as a single entity in 2015. I don't know about now. So I had to get her inside as my second director. And that was how her name ended up in this document. When I went to the EFCC, we had to go and sit with the EFCC boss, the three of us. And the man asked Peter, why do you bent are you bent on wanting to involve jude's wife in this matter we have investigated for six months there is no where there is no how there is no means that we have found any connection that has to do with her they just used her name as a second director in the company in re company registration she's not in the banking she doesn't have access to the account she doesn't have any secret she's not secret to the account why do you always want to have her involved i've told you several times to leave her out of this and peter's answer was uh, he has to get her involved because if the table was turned the other way around we're going to involve his wife that he should go and see what i was talking about his wife on social media please i want to ask you people i have one million naira to send to anybody that can go on google and find any time i posted a tweet or instagram or facebook or whatever any defamatory whatever on Peter's wife. Please, the first person to send that thing to me on my DM will win one million naira. I don't understand. Sometimes I, I, I keep saying it from that 2016 that Peter needs help. Peter needs prayer. It looks as if I'm making a jerk of him, but that is the fact. There is nothing I have not done. To a point that I have left Peace Square for you for eight years. I am not managing you. I am not directing for you. I am not giving you any opinion. I am not. There is nothing. You are going your way. I am going my way. I wish you guys well. When you guys came back in 20, 2021, you called me. There's a video out. Manager, manager, manager. I told you, oh, no, 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 no. Let's enjoy the euphoria for a day or two. We need to come together. And find out when this is over what happened four or five years ago. He said, Why do I need? I said, No, no, no. You cannot post a brand like P Square for four or five years. I just said, No, 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 nothing that happened. We don't come together. I said, No. If it's me that is faulty, tell me what I am doing wrong. If whoever that is, everybody should just come and vent and call. We, apart from P Square, that brotherhood should come together. You cannot just say, No, 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 it's okay. Let's. They said, Okay, okay, we agreed. After a week, I noticed that nobody was calling me to, for the meeting. I decided to call for the meeting myself. I said, okay, let everybody come together. Can we have this meeting? First thing that Peter came out for me, that Peter brought it out from his mouth was, I beg, we know you that my beg. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. That was his word. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. I was like, oh, was it just Paul that was involved in this thing? Why can't we sit down? Even if it means bringing the wives too. Let all of us as family sit down and fashion this thing out. Something strange happened that made this brand to go in, in, uh, in Comunicado for five, six years. No, four and a half, five years. We need, it needs to be explained. If not, it's going to happen again. And Paul was like, no, 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 Jude, if you said let bygone, bygone, let's look for how to just... I let it go. I don't want to push it further because everybody was still enjoying the euphoria of their back. I, I just let it go. Then, we started talking about how to uh, uh, start the new managing uh, of P-Square, the new ideas, and how to bring the brand back. I was trying to open an account that will have uh, the three of us alert a new account because the old one was been dormant for long. Only for my phone to ring, Peter called me, no, Paul called me. I said, where was I? I said, I'm in my parlor. I'm signing. He said, no, 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 leave that way. They try open. Just come for my house. 
I said, okay, what's the problem? He said, just come. I said, okay, give me two minutes. Let me finish filling this form. He said, that's the way they feel. If you don't need them, just they come. I was like, I don't understand. Can't you give me two minutes now? Peter now picked the phone and said, Jude, that's where they feel. No need. You know, be saying you no know, go find them. You no know, need them. Just they come. The thing is, the paper is still here with me. I just told, told the guy that, you know what? When I finish filling the form, I'll call you to come and collect it. It's, I have an urgent meeting to attend to. I went to Paul's house. Peter was seated. Paul was seated. I sat down. Then... Peter was like, they have done, uh, they have had a meeting yesterday and decided that they are not going to need me for the peace we are moving forward. I was like, why? Say because that is, that is the, the condition he gave Paul if they are going to come back as peace square, that Jude is not going to get involved. And for you people that are saying that Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul sided with Peter. And got me kicked out of Peace Square. This thing happened uh, early December 20, 2020, 2021. Early December 20, I can't remember the date exactly. Does that one look like somebody that is siding with Jude? Does Paul look like somebody that is siding with Jude? But that's just by the way. So, I said, okay, no problem. Paul, you have done Root Boy for almost five years now. I gave you all the support. I gave you all the uh, assistance that you needed. I even edited all your videos, if not all, most of your videos, for free. Did you ever pay me? No. Have you ever played any show that you got as rude boy and you paid me anything? He said no. I gave you all the assistance, he said, for that for five years. Even though nobody knew what I was doing for a living, he said it. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to extend the same gesture to Peace Square right now. You guys can take your decisions. You don't want me to have anything to do with Peace Square. Take your decisions on yourself. Run your things. But if you need any help, I'm always available. Let's do that that way. I left them. No hard feelings. Peace Square or no Peace Square, we still have to keep the brotherhood. And when I went to Abuja, a week later, at the pool side of the hotel that we were staying, we were like five of us that came from Lagos, then some few Gogolada people, Abuja people that they have known from school days and everything. They were like 14, 15 of them, including us. I was just sitting drinking with Paul and some other people then. Peter walked up to me and was like, he wants to seek my opinion for so on something. That What do I think? What do I would think if, if we go invite Mehdi for the show where they want to do by that December, their only first show in December, what was my what is my opinion? I said, invite Medi. I said, no. Why do you want to invite Medi? He said, because people go feel um, that the people don't have peace square and Medi know they're in good time. But if they bring them as a surprise, it go wild the fans. I say, I say yes. I don't say go wild the fans, a normal thing. But has Medi reached out to you? Has he apologized? Has he made up with you after all the things he has said about you on social media? I was like, no. If say if Medi don't make up with him, I said okay. If Medi has made up with you, has he made up with Paul? Has he made up with me? Peter exploded. What they gonna me? What what? Why does he give? If Medi makes, makes up with me, all he does is do show Paul. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Go entire Lagos. I go invite Medi. Come, make him come. Apologize to you. Once apologize, that's all. I don't don't need you. I was like, what have I said now that is wrong? What have I said now that is sparking this this rage? You asked me a question, an opinion, and I gave it. Why are you by getting banklashed now? As in, what is the meaning of this? I stood up, Shehu, boss manager, and uh, 20, stopped me. I was like, Jude, no, no, no. I said, I'm not angry, I'm not angry. I just want to go and cool off. I can't stay here. He was high screaming that I should be grateful that it is because of him and Paul coming together, that I am here. I, I, I really understand what that statement meant. That I should be grateful that because they came together as Peace Square again, I now find myself in Abuja as in, I cannot come to Abuja. I've never been to Abuja. I don't understand what that statement meant. That was what I heard last night I heard when I was leaving. And I left. I went to my room and slept. I woke up the next day. I told myself, even the assistant that I was trying to render or give to them for free, I think I should just withdraw it and just move my... T I should not be interested in anything Peace Square. And that was how it has been. 
have never. Anytime that they release any video, the way people are seeing the video or the new song on telly is the same way me I'm seeing it. I never got involved in anything peace screen. Ever. Until EFCC invited me. Two and a half years later. Now, everybody keeps saying, Ah, oh, Jude, go back, to, go and say to your brothers, you are the elder one, you are the elder one. Yes, I am the elder one, but I am not the first son. We have two elder ones. I have two elder brothers. I keep saying this, but that doesn't excuse the fact that I am their elder brother. But please, somebody that doesn't regard you, respect you as an elder one, how do you tell that person? How do you, how do you put that person in order, so to speak? How, how, how no, I want you two people to help me. What do you think I'm not doing right? Go and say to your brothers, if a referee becomes a target of two boxers that you're supposed to referee on, how does it settle the fight? I became a target from the day... What is that? Oh. Don't worry, it's not necessary. Don't worry, I don't know how to. So, hold on, please, excuse me. Sorry, some people are not happy with the comments that are going on. So, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Um, I'm forgetting what I was even saying. Okay. So, basically, I'm, what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that I've not had anything to do with Peace Square for the past eight years. I don't know what people are expecting of me. I decided to move on with my life. These people are not babies. These people are 45, year old, 45 years old this year. These people are going to be 45 this November. They are not babies. These people are, they have children that are teenagers for crying out loud. If they are in America, they will be grandfathers now. Why is it that Peter always finds a way to put blames on me when anything goes wrong with him? Because he has already uh, 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 had that impression that, oh, the people always call you the elder one, go and say to your brothers, go and put your family in order. What do you mean, go and put your family in order? My family is in order. Let them put their family in order. If they are doing business together, let them put it in order. I have tried to the point that I sacrificed myself. I mentioned this thing when I was doing with, uh, uh, with two dead nuts. I, 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 I have practically done everything possible. What is this expected of me now? No, you two tell me, what do you want me to do? He had to look for a way to go and twist the EFCC situation to make it look fraudulent. The address he was talking about, uh, uh, if uh, my wife having uh, her people's address, was the address of the account opener. The accountant that opened the account address, he went and paid, so the account opener, oh, they, they opened an account with the address and now came out and said, the Coca, Ajayi Coca Street or whatever in, uh, in uh, uh, Midaba is my wife's home address. My wife has never lived in, uh, on the island. She came from Wari to Jakonde. From Jakonde, we are, me and I met and the rest is history. What, how did you see an address and just concluded that it's my wife's home address. If not that you are looking for a way to just put that thing out there, that these people are fraudulent. NOSA Entertainment has been existing for 11 years. It became a shocker for you. Seeing it after 11 years. So Mr. Morgan was signed on NOSA Entertainment since 11 years. 
it's like me coming out to say P Classic is a shocker for me. Oh, I'm just seeing it. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, secret company. Or me coming out to say Root Ball Record is a surprise. It's a secret company because I don't have any affiliation to do with it. Uh, your your uh, P Classic, I don't. It doesn't have any affiliation with me. Everybody has their own separate uh, company that they run aside P Square. I also have mine. So what is the problem? I wanted to keep silent and wait for the EFCC case to finish. But I was like, if the EFCC case finishes and you come and make a comment, it look as if, oh, because you don't free yourself or because you don't end, I don't get my say, no. I think it's time to come and say something. I, I think I need to come and put this thing right. So, um... I stopped at the other words. Uh, okay. Um, what is this? This APC man that mentioned, I saw it online, that talked about us, if we have elders in our family, if we have uh, uh, people in our family, the elders, the Igwes and call family members. I'm not going to lie to you. Paul, Paul uh, kind of attacked him, but I, I beg to differ for what Paul did. The man was right. Yes, we have elders, we have family members, we have uh, Igwes, we have uh, elderly people, so to speak. But the question is, how could none of them never make, don't make any impute? They have. Our Igwe of our village have. Prominent members have. Our cousins and aunties, our aunties, all of them, uncles, all of them have. Peter doesn't listen to anybody. See, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put Peter down. I'm not trying to make him look bad. I'm not trying to say I'm a saint. I'm just trying to say there is nothing humanly possible that people, not just me now, people have not done. They make up for Letifa Nyuba, Dan Tata, name them prominent men, governors, ministers, everybody. Once they hear from him, they hear from me, they hear from Peter, and they are making a final submission, and submission is not going towards Peter's favor, it will explode and work out. Steady, steady, steady. They got tired and they forgot about it. I also got tired and I forgot about it and moved on. Why am I still always involved? I don't understand. Eight years, for eight good years, I have not had anything to do with Peace Square. For eight years. I have survived outside Peace Square for eight years. Now, that is the biggest problem. Peter went to EFCC. After, after they had issues with... Okay, let me talk about the issue before he went to EFCC. Last November ending to December, I was sitting at Paul's poolside watching TV. I'm not going to tell you what I, what I was told. I will tell you what I, uh, uh, what I saw. And I started hearing screaming from the other side. The guy that was sitting next to me, I was like, as Paul's boy. I said, what's going on? He said, Paul is the other side. I said, what is he doing there? He said, I think they are having a meeting. Then the voice became so loud and so loud. The noise was now approaching towards my back because I was facing the TV and there was a door behind me. Next thing, as I was just turning back like that, I started hearing, where are my children there? Where are my children there? You loser. Where are my children there? Next thing, Paul barged into the gate violently. Peter came forcefully behind him. And as he just turned, we made eye, I made eye contact with Peter. He now turned back and went back into his compound. Then Peter's uh, uh, manager, MM, now held Paul, went to her knees. Paul, please, Paul, Rudy, plus, Paul, please, uh, you never heard it. Plus, Paul, you never heard it. You never heard it. I was just surprised. I was just looking at them. 
Then she walked back in. Paul went inside, cleaned himself up, and now came back. I, I was like waiting for him. To be like, Guy, what did I just witness now? What, what happened? What was going on? That they had they been having issues, and he thought that the only way that the issue should is to have a permanent solution to the issues. If Peter is complaining that he doesn't uh, get uh, his ideas cont contribution uh, in the Peace Square brand, that what they are going to do now is that if they are going to be doing everything 50-50, like for instance now, they said they wanted to have a, uh, an album, whatever. Somebody wants to get their album for 10 tracks. He said, okay, you will bring half of the album, I'll bring half of the album. You'll be in charge of your five songs, I'll be in charge of my five songs. You promote your five songs, I promote my five songs. If you want to shoot the video, you have an idea of the video, instead of conflict with mine, shoot it with your own, in your own five songs, I'll shoot mine in my own five songs. But to have that union of Peace Square, I'll have my songs come to you and say, okay, Peter, come and feature in two, three, four, or five of my tracks. Do the same thing. Let's have that union. So that we can be able to protect that Peace Square uh, sound, that Texture that people already fell in love with peace because I can still maintain it. That Peter rejected that idea. That was what brought the argument. I was like, that's a good idea, by the way, because this idea now will mean that there will be no more conflict. If I'm disrespecting you in the studios this time around, we don't need to be in the studio together. If I'm disrespecting your ideas of a song this time around, put the ideas in your own song. If I'm disrespecting your ideas to shoot, how we're going to shoot a video, what to feature in a song, and I decide to say, oh, let's, talk, let's go and feature Osha. You say, no, you want to feature uh, 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 whoever. Go on, whoever you want, use your money, bring the person, feature the person. At the end of the day, that your five song, register it. Copyright it as your own. I'll do likewise to my own. If the song went na my own, Naim Blow, or your own Naim Blow, whichever one will blow, when they call us for Peace Square, we'll climb stage together, go perform finish, we'll go collect our money, we'll split them 50-50. But when it comes to royalties, streaming, whatever, the only way they come for your name of your own songs being go to you, the only way they come to my own, make it come to me. That, that was exactly what he proposed. And Peter was in agreement with that. That was what caused their fight. I was like, okay, if he doesn't agree with that, let him tell you, that was my advice to Paul, let him tell you how he wants it to be. Then you guys can like come to us in the middle. Paul was like, no way. That he cannot stand anymore when a song that he does alone, sang alone, him and Peter will come get problem. Peter will carry that same song when they perform as a solo artist. That Peter did the same thing in Bankalat. And I, I agree with him because I was there. Bank Alert was Paul's first Root Boy solo song, debut, so to speak. He spoke to uh, Clarence and shot some part of the video before Peter came back in 2016. So by then, Clarence was like, ah, Peace Square was better. Peace Square is better. Peace Square is better. You know what? I don't mind. I'll, I'll shoot this video continuously without adding any money for you guys. I would read the other one. Make, I go wait for a set to finish more and I can't do the video. And that was how Peter got involved in the video. So, a year or so down the line, they had issues again. That same period, Peter went on stage as a solo act and was performing the song while Paul was seated at home with me. So, he was like, he felt bad about that, that he, the only solution for that not to happen again, if I register my own song, register your own songs, but it's called Peace Square together, when you go solo, you go respect my boundaries. Carry your own song, go they perform. Make I carry my own, they go perform. No, be saying when I go down so far, finish, do song, finish. We carry and call and peace square. You break peace square again. Carry and go they perform. I was like, that's a good idea, but still, ask him to give you a suggestion of what he wants. That was the last I heard from them until the FCC invited us. So I'm trying to make people give give people that background that. I did not have any contribution for Peace Square. I did not have any communication for Peace Square. I did not have any interaction with Peace Square. I did not have any anything to do with Peace Square whatsoever for eight years. But guess what? Anytime they have issues, I will be the forefront person that they will put in front. Okay, some of you are saying, eh, why are you always siding one person? Why are you always siding one person? I just gave you an instance now that Paul sided with Peter to get me kicked out of Peace Square, ending of 2021. 
I have something I'm going to post later for you people to see on Monday. I have a lot of things I'm going to post, but I can't be able to do it. I wanted to be doing it here, but for the time being, to not to waste people's time or boy people's time, I can't be able to do it now. I'll post everything on Monday. They had to go and do a, to whom you may consign whatever and send it to people that are sharing our, our royalties to undermine my authority and remove me from catalog. Meaning, okay, you have removed me from Peace Square. Now you want to remove the only legacy I have to show that I was once a part of Peace Square. Paul signed it. Peter signed it. The two manager MM and Sheo signed it. I have it with me here. I'm trying to, trying to make you understand that. Why are you people always saying, I'm siding with Paul? I'm si oh, Paul is siding with me. No. That is the game that Peter knows that you people are always falling into. So he will keep doing it as far as he, he just come and say, you are siding, making Paul a weak person. You are siding with Paul. Be okay. What does it mean by, uh, uh, you are siding with, uh, Paul is always siding with Jude. Knowing fully that Jude wants to oppress me. For crying out loud. How me could take oppress Peter? If they put Peter here now, put me here now. Babe, go, fo go follow me, leave Peter. No, let's be realistic. I know be superstar. I know be artist. I know they for poster. I know get followership for social media. What would what is that thing that will make that I will ever use to oppress Peter in this life? That Peter will come and say, Paul is siding with me, knowing fully well that I, me, want to oppress him, Peter. How? Peter, I don't drive Bentley. I never drive Bentley for my life. You carry Range Rover and get your girlfriend. I don't even, the GLE of 2012, my wife still drives to today. How, 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 how are they, how I, how, how are they take oppress you? No. How? There has to be a way to bring Paul, connect her with Jude, and everything will fall into places. It has been like that for the past 10 years. It hasn't changed. They say a man does what works. Once something works, a man is tend to repeat it again. That has always been the pattern till date. Even after 8 years of having nothing to do with Peace Square, that pattern is still working. Because there's that emotional sentiment. Ah, go and settle with your brothers. Why are you only siding one person? Go and settle with your brothers. 45-year-old men. They all have grey hair now. And they barb, they dye my hair. They might wait for their turn to dye their hair. What am I supposed to do to have my peace? Jude, leave peace alone. Leave peace Stop managing them. Stop managing them. I've left them for eight years now. Now it's go and settle them. Go and settle them. They want to go and settle them. Go and settle them. If I enter settle them, they will carry the whole problem. Put for my head. They told me, don't ever put your opinion. Don't ever get co contribute to this thing. We don't want to have anything to do with you with Peace Square. I have left them. Tell me, what else am I supposed to do to find my peace? Even if I come up from here now, go to live for Iceland, Peter Gossi talk say, pour the side with me. So that the backlash will come again. Okay, now let's go. The issue of um, I think I finished the issue of uh, uh, EFCC. So the EFC uh, investigation is still on. So I was able to get my petition in place against P Square because that's the only way I can defend myself. If I if uh, they were all busy focusing on my account to see what Peter alleged I was having as P-Square royalty. I couldn't get them to focus on their account to see the evidence that what I am having, they are also having their own share. So I have to go and put in a petition so that they can now have authorization from me officially to look into their accounts so that they can bring everything that has to do with P-Square process. They go put them for the table. They go see what everybody gets in now. What that they get by their account. So basically that is what my petition was all about, and that is, I believe, what the investigation is on. I'm not the EFCC are doing a very good job, they are very thorough, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you are in trouble, if you do anything illegal, and EFCC put their touch light on you, you're not gonna feel wrong going anywhere. Those people are very, very thorough. Then they tell me where I buy, I, I change money 
16, 17 years ago, I don't remember. I don't even know people I even send the money to. So, now, what is giving me a heartache, mostly, about this EFCC, EF, EFCC stuff was, Peter never, not once, came to me and said, Brother, please, I'm having some issues with this money thing. I saw this money going to your account, or I saw this thing. How did, how did he see the money going to my account? He never came to me. On in December, end of December, I remember the picture I took with my son that I posted. End of December to early January, I saw him. He walked into my compound when I was going out with my son. When I was going to the compound to play with my son. He was like, hey, how are you? Uncle Papa is here. He played with my son and everything. He now asked me for a hand tool that I had. I told my boy to get it for him and he now left. Only for me to, two months later, to be invited by the EFCC. And when I saw the petition, my, my heart skipped a bit. I was like, oh my God. This guy came to my compound to come and play with my son. Knowing fully well, he just wrote and submitted a petition against me. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put that together. I, 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 I almost lost my mind. Wait, you... You were just playing with my son two months ago. And looking at your petition and the dates, it was very obvious you have already submitted a petition against me. And you came and put up a face. You smiled with me and you played with my son. And you borrowed my tool from me and left. I can't get that out of my mind. It's hard. It's so hard. I can't. It's hard. Not that I don't want to. I've tried so much to, to see if I can forget that. It's just not leaving my head. You, you said I was taking money that I am entitled to. You get your royalty when it comes, when it's due, you share it into three. Paul gets his own, he shares into three. I get my own, I share into three. P Square had issues, you stopped sharing. I told Paul, stop sharing too. Let everybody keep what they get. And it has been like that for over four and a half years. P Square came back together. I did the noble thing. I brought it back to the fold again. Everybody continued sharing again. But till date, two and a half years later, after they came back, Paul is still not sharing, Peter is still not sharing. They get it, they keep it to themselves. I said, no problem, let me move on with my life. I see a drop in UFC. Because once you mention Jude, I mention P Square inside it, the person to carry the blame is already available. So, what I'm trying to say now is please, if any of you have an idea, because I've run out of ideas, I've sacrificed, I've sacrificed to a level that I've even sacrificed myself and got myself removed. For eight years now, it's like my, re my removal is not even yielding any results. So, you people tell me now, I'm throwing it out. Tell me what you want me to do. I've run out of ideas. I don't know what to do anymore. I have two other ones. They don't, he doesn't listen to any of them. In fact, he doesn't talk to any of them. Don't talk to any of his siblings. So it's a shameful thing according to that politician, yes. It's a shame that there's no elder in our place that can put these things in order. It's just the fact. There's none. I've run out of ideas. There's nothing I can do. So, please, if you people think you have something that you think that's oh, that should be done you let me know 
I think uh, I don't know if there's anything that I've not uh, said or put into uh, it's like one hour now already. So I think please. Um, my wife has nothing to do with the case. Peter was just uh, looking for a way to infuse that fact to make it be uh, sensational. And there's something that happened also that I think you people should know. The last time we went to EFCC, uh, the person that Peter gave the information to leak that first time that people will get to know that we're having issues with, uh, that has to do with the EFCC. The person called me to get my own side of the story and told me that Peter gave him the story to leak out that if he doesn't give it to, if she doesn't leak it out within uh, how many hours she's going to give it to Tunde Not, then she said, okay, she's going to leak it but she's going to get her own side of the story, my own side of the story uh, from me. She now told me that, sorry, that there's something that Peter told her to do that she, she was ashamed to do it. That she should come be in Peter's car and the day we were supposed to meet the EFCC boss that she should record me coming down from the car with my wife in the EFCC office to make it sensational. That she couldn't do it. But you can imagine, two hours after I went to the EFC office with the boss and we came out, my wife sent me a link, a link of a, that same blogger already putting out a story that as we speak now, Peter Paul Jude are in EFCC office. So imagine what would have been if she was able to stay, agree to what she said, and now put it out and say, okay, um, that um, all the, uh, she had a picture of Ify or my wife, my wife coming down from my car, being escorted by the EFC office. Is that not going to be a sensational uh, storyline? Oh, Ify has been arrested, or Ify has been uh, reeled in to, for questioning of her involvement in the, uh, secret company uh, fraudulent whatever she refused to do it she told me so now you can see why he went to the EFC office in that same meeting the man asked him why no no he started with Peter saying he demanded that all the directors of No Science Music should be present in this meeting that if he was told that none of all of them are not in this meeting, that he wouldn't have come. The man was like, I don't understand what you mean. Me, I was like, are you insinuating that my wife should come here, sit down here, and be looking at you? He said, eh, because if that's the, if because that's what he demanded. The man told him that we don't work like that. This is a commission. We follow the evidence. We have investigated for six months. She has nothing to do with the account. Jude was the only person that signed to the account. Jude's the only one that has access to the account. She was just used to open the account, uh, to open the company that was used to open the account. Her name was just there as a director. So Jude is the only person that has access to the account. That's why he's here. Leave her out of it. He said, no, he cannot. Because if the table was the other way around, we would have involved his wife. I said this thing before. I'm looking for it again for people that were not listening before. So you can see how desperate and important it was for him to bring that other blogger to come and record a video because he has already made a demand behind that all the directors should come, meaning he's expecting me and my wife to come. Then when I appeared only me, he, he got pissed off that my wife was not there. That means the sensational story he was looking for will not be there. So please... Uh, all the insults on my comment session, in my, on my wife's comment session, I saw them all. And I don't blame any of you. You want your peace square and justifiably true and right, you deserve to have your peace square. You believed everything he said justifiably true because Peter is believable. No doubt about it. Even my close friends that have gone to him, that he showed whatever he showed to them, they believed him. But when they came to my place, they knew all of them were just false. As in frivolous, useless claims. So, please, let it stop. I've moved on in my life. It's been eight years. 
my wife has nothing to do with this case let's have our peace if you have any idea of what you think i can do to see get the peace square back my hands are open send me a dm tell me whatever you think i have not done that needs to be done i am i've run out of ideas i don't know what to do i'm in a i'm in a fix right now as in i don't know what else to do don't sit down and be telling me no you are the elder one go and fix your family go and talk to your brothers just have it in mind these are 45 year old men they're not kids they're not babies anymore and these are people that can be able to take charge of their life and decide what is good for them. I have nothing to do with it. I have two elder ones. If, if you're looking at me as if, ah, the last, card, the last card decision comes for me, I'm the eldest one. No, I have two elder brothers. Please. You guys asked me to leave. I have left. You guys asked me to get them back together. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. There's nothing I can do again. I was still asked to leave and I've left. It's been eight years. Please let me have my peace. I beg you. Let me have my peace. I don't know anything again that you want me to do. Not that I care. I'm being very honest with you people. Sorry if I sound very angry or offensive or whatever. But that is a fact of the truth. Not that I care. But because of the love you guys believe you have for Peace Square and desperately wanting Peace Square to come back, I'm honestly telling you here now, once again, after I did with Twin Dead Not four years ago, that I don't know what uh, I'm supposed to say that I have not said. Like I said earlier, uh, the EFCC case is still under investigation. And uh, whenever they finish, I promise you guys, I'm going to bring the updates of the final. Uh, investigation and um, like I said uh, I might be like kind of repeating myself again my wife has nothing to do with this it's just royalties that Peter was receiving and not sharing anymore Paul was receiving not sharing anymore that I was receiving and was sharing with them as we speak that I got four years ago that is what they are taking me to UFC for because according to Peter, I am not peace square. That's just the basis of the truth, the basic of the whole matter. I am not peace square. The, mo the money I had with me is peace square's money because I am not peace square. I'm just the manager that they put on salary. If this is still going on, whatever the outcome comes, I've given them the evidence to prove that I'm not just peace square. I am equal as peace square as they are. But in the eyes of the public, to two of them are peace square. I don't have any problem with that. But on documentation, I am equal as them as peace square. Even more, but I am not charging that. I'm just being equal with them as peace square. So that is about the EFCC case and about my wife's own case. Like I said, please, uh, easy with the comment section. Leave her out of it. I understand what you guys are, are feeling about Peter's story. No worries. I if if I if I don't want to cross that line with him. Peter has crossed a very serious line, taking this matter to EFCC. But I'm telling you honestly, if I cross that line with him, it's gonna be uh, two people. Uh, uh, it's like a pig that's playing in the mud, and you're putting on white, and you decide to go and join the pig in the mud. It's not gonna look good on me to cross that line. Like, I'm going to still be that bigger person, that bigger brother, to look at it with a different perspective. But first of all, I need to go and defend myself. So my defending myself now means that I have to go and put in a petition so that they can also be investigated. And that money that I am also receiving that is in my account that he was petitioning about, they also see the same money in their own account. That's why I put in a petition too. Aside that, I don't have any qualms with Peter. I don't have any qualms with Paul. I don't have any qualms with anybody. It's been eight years. Why can't they just let me be? Why can't they just let me be? Every time Jude is siding with Paul, Paul is siding with Jude. Paul, like I repeat, Paul stood with Peter to get me removed from Peace Square. Is that on siding? Paul signed, which I told you are going to release very soon on Monday. Paul signed. To whom we may consign everybody that is holding Peace Square catalog 
if it's Peter and Paul's catalog, nobody else is in charge of the catalog, nobody else has a right, right to be in the catalog. Peter signed it, Paul signed it, and they send it out to the people. The people send it to me, I have it with me. Is that one siding with me? That people should stop that with this person. I'm not siding with anybody. Nobody siding with me. I'm just siding with the truth. And that has always been the fact. So, if I'm not, if I've not been with you for eight years, don't have any transaction with you for eight years, what am I still doing in your problems? If I've not done anything with you for eight years, please, what am I still doing with your problems? I don't come to you wherever you're doing anything. I don't get involved in anything you're doing whatsoever. What am I still doing with any problem you encounter in your life? After eight years, I'm still in your problems. Somebody should please help me explain that. You guys are so emotional and... Uh, um, you guys are so emotional and... Uh, 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 sentimental. Go and fix your brother. Go and fix your brother. I have told you right now, I have tried everything humanly possible. There's nothing less I can do but to live. And it's been eight years. Please, and please, let me have my peace. Thank you all. Like I said, when the investigation is over, I'm going to update you guys, and that will be it for now. Please, let us have our peace. Thank you. Get in the new, come on and get